Welcome back to a brand new Coffee Tech Break with Jan. Good to see you back on my channel again. I think I got another great video for you lined up because I want to take you through a brand new version of the camera control app for MTR on Windows. And that version is available now to download on the Podi support website. I will walk you through uh, downloading, installing and configuring that brand new software package. Before we jump into the installation guidance uh, and show you some of that end user experience, let me guide you a little bit uh, through different camera options. So from the Poly side, uh, there is the E70, we got the Studio R30, we got Studio USB, we got P15. Now, if you connect those cameras to an MTR on Windows, it's by design just using its tracking mode that is there. And so you can configure that through PolyLens application, through the administration side, but that is fixed. And by using the camera control application, the end user is able to switch between speaker track, group track, or people track. And you can even do a manual PTC. Now with this brand new application, there's also some new features in there, which I will show you in this video. Now, as usual, I will jump in my computer now and walk you step by step through the installation and also give you some guidance in the end user experience. Let's go. Welcome into my MTR on Windows meeting room. So in this room, I can show you step by step how to install that latest camera control application, but also I can show you the end user experience. Now, First off, to install the latest camera control application, we need to do that under the hood in the administrative interface of the MTR windows. So we need to go to more, we need to go to the settings, then we need to punch in here the default password. Of course, you've changed that uh, to your password. Then we need to jump into the window settings. All right. And here we need to go to the administrator. We punch in again, default password, which of course is changed in your environment then. All right, so now we are in the administrative interface of your MTR Windows. We need to search now for the application. We open up the Edge browser, here you go. And then we got here the tab software releases. And here you go. So this is now the 2.0 release, which is available. You can also find the release notes there if you want to walk that uh, through uh, for, uh, for more details. And here we can download the application. Now, I've downloaded the application, which should be available right here. Now, the only thing you need to do is you just click on it, reinstall it. It should all go fairly quickly. Just a small application, I make this small. So on the desktop, you see now a new icon, Poly Camera Control Set. So we need to click on that. And this application will detect all the cameras eh, which are USB connected to your MTR compute. You see the Poly E70 and we see the Poly Studio video. Now you can even provide names here. So for example, all you want to provide this as a speaker view, you can do that right here because people won't know what an E70 is. And for example, for a studio video, you want to set it to room view. So that's the possibility here under the hood that you can configure that up front. A brand new feature, which is in camera control app version two is the default settings. Default setting means uh, that it always falls back. So if people walk out of the meeting, new people come in, it will fall back into a default tracking option. There was a lot of feedback on that, but you, you can imagine that if people have a meeting, they point the camera to specific whiteboard or specific track options and other people come in, then that could be confusing. And then they first need to change camera correctly, etc. So now we got this default setting. So you could set, for example, the room view, put that in group mode. So you got speaker, group or people tracking and uh, have that or uh, you can even have it disabled if you want to and point to a specific preset. And uh, that is all possible now in the camera control app. And the last one is settings. Here you got uh, like logging. So if anything goes wrong, you need to provide something to support 
uh, we can uh, walk to those uh, logging and, uh, and export those. And that's it. This is under the hood, uh, the settings of camera control app version two. Now, what is the end user experience? Eh? So let me go now to the end user experience and show you the Teams interface. So this is the interface on the console at the table. Eh? For example, then the GC8. Now, if you don't want to provide all of this eh, to your end users, then uh, you need to configure the camera through the PolyLens app. And then that's the option, but that will be fixed throughout every meeting. And uh, this is really a way where you can give your end users uh, the freedom to play with the tracking options. And there's nothing uh, which they can break. It's all just giving, him, uh, giving them more options uh, to, uh, to use different uh, tracking options during the meeting or uh, before the meeting. Now, where you can find the tracking options is here under room controls. So end user would see this directly. With the previous version of the Teams app, it was hidden like somewhere underneath. It was really, uh, yeah, you could not really find it, but now it's here, a big button on the screen. So I can click on room control and immediately this opens up a brand new application where you can control the camera. So you can change between speaker track, group track, or people framing it. That means it will really split out all the participants in the room. And it gives you that meeting uh, equality. You can turn the tracking on and off. Eh? So if you turn it off, you can provide presets. Eh? So you can manage your PTC and you can create a preset, for example, and eh? create it to a whiteboard. So I can name it whiteboard. You go. Okay, so I got now a preset to a whiteboard and also you can switch cameras. So let's say I want to switch to the room view and also want to switch on tracking here very easily. And so this is all before the meeting has started. There you can already play around with that. If you want to see if the camera is working correctly, I would recommend you just start an ad hoc meeting and just before the meeting so you can check if the camera is correctly set. Now, during a meeting, there's also some possibilities to change the tracking. And let me show you that. So starting now, ad hoc meeting. If you then click on the three dots right here, so here you got always that breakout room controls to the camera tracking. So there's always a way to access those. So, but again, you need to start a meeting if you want to review, preview, and uh, that, uh, that camera view, you need to start a meeting there. And that's it. That is the camera control application. Just really easy, straightforward. And uh, if you want to provide those different tracking options uh, for the end user to be able to configure that. Here ends the coffee tech break session for today. I think again, I was able to uh, take video within one or two coffees. Eh? And so I'll walk you through all the tracking options for different cameras, E70, R30, studio USB, and you can configure all those, uh, those cameras through uh, the MTR on Windows with the camera control application. Now in this camera control application, eh, latest release, you have now this default settings. So if a user walks out of the room and it always falls back to that default tracking option, I think really powerful. Now, if you got any questions or concerns, uh, just put them under the video. I will also uh, will put some reference uh, in, uh, in the comments uh, so you're able to find the camera control app or manual, etc., and you're able to find that, uh, that quickly. Again, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, looking forward to see you in the next video.